title of the paper is long, the presentation will be shorter. Uh, my name is Boris Fodorian, I work at the Boy University, Faculty of History and Philosophy, Department of Ancient History and Archaeology. So I'm an archaeologist, uh, specialist in Roman history, but uh, I study also modern cartography and digital tools used in modern cartography because Romans were good specialists in analyzing, interpreting, and capitalizing uh, the landscape they used. So it's the case also for Roman Dacia. Uh, and the paper will be much more about the methods I use to discover new archaeological sites. Uh, this paper is part of a bigger project. Uh, and mapping these sites uh, using all data available, uh, cartographic uh, data from uh, regional gazetteers and so on. So I will refer first to the uh, present state of research uh, concerning uh, the analysis of uh, the landscape, then three or four examples uh, close to uh, a very important former Roman city, was Potaisa, today is Turban, Turban County, 30 kilometers southeast uh, of Turban. Potaisa was important within the Roman period because it was a very important legionary fortress there uh, and uh, it was a city which benefited of uh, juridical status, we call it Ius Italicum, and among other facilities, one of these facilities was uh, uh, the inhabitants uh, in Potes and uh, close to that city did not pay uh, money for uh, using the land. So uh, it was a very big advantage and uh, many Roman farms appeared and developed in, the, in that area. Uh, we have today uh, for, uh, to use for archaeology two big databases. The first is ranchimec.ro, which is called in Romania Repertory Archaeologico Nazional, so a national archaeological repository, and another database called Cartographic Server for Archaeology. Uh, these databases uh, have some problems because they are so-called digital databases, but the problem is in fact that you all know cartography and we are specialized in digital cartography. These are not digital data because uh, all the settlements are marked only with a point, but there are no exact references regarding uh, the coordinates or the exact location of each and every uh, site. Uh, for statistics, we have in Romania today around 14,000 archaeological sites. Uh, of these, 2,000 and 500 are from Roman period, so quite a lot. But we discover every year uh, other settlements and other points. And these sites are described very in a very simple manner, something like this. This is in Romania, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Napoca, Faculty of Geography, in that area, in the forest, there is a Roman settlement, and that's all. And the point indicated that location. Uh, this is a sort of map <laughs> uh, uh, with uh, the archaeological finds in, uh, uh, in, in Asia. Uh, because of this problem, we have some big lacks in, uh, uh, in archaeology today. And the first is uh, related to investment and preventive archaeology. Uh, now it's it's a period of crisis, but we hope that this will end somehow. But investments always, this is a very simple scheme, attracts uh, the economic development, attracts investment, and uh, investment uh, uh, provoke preventive archaeology. And every year, dozens of hundreds of, uh, of new sites uh, are discovered, and this database is not updated. Uh, all the sites are grouped in what we call archaeological repositories. Here it's one example, this is the title of the book, it's for the Cluj County. And in this regional gazetteers, we have 
the, set, the, dis, the description of the settlement, and this information then is copied, because I said copy-paste, in Lemay. This is the list of historical monuments. This is the official document, uh, which can be found in the, every uh, uh, department of uh, patrimony in every county. Uh, and this information then is copied in other articles or so-called uh, regional gazetteers. It's a, it's a closer uh, This is uh, the idea. And I'll refer now to three examples uh, uh, which are included here in the archaeological repository of Turs County. The first is the small village of Lunkan, which is, let's say, 18 kilometers southeast of uh, Potaisa. This is Turda, the Roman Potaisa, here the position of the legionary uh, fortress. And Lunkan is here along the valley of Ariel. All that area that I spoke uh, was is full of uh, Roman uh, villages. This is a small example of uh, regarding the information contained in archaeological repositories. So, short descriptions and what we can call this a map. So, this is a draw, something like a draw, with one or two or three or I don't know ten points indicating the position of Roman sites. Uh, in the case of Lunkan, I use several cartographic sources of so the Austrian maps from the first, second, third military survey and this sketch and the book. This sketch was, uh, this is a draw made by Teglash Ishvan. Teglash Ishvan uh, was an amateur uh, who lived in Turda at the end of the 19th century. He collected antiquities, he knew very well the city of Potaisa and he draw, describe the landscape. And for the settlement of Munkan, he indicated here uh, the confluence of two very little uh, rivulets, so this is a spring, a Roman settlement close to the entrance in, in, uh, in, in the village of uh, Munkan. Uh, here is his description of this settlement. Uh, some of you know Hungarian, and this is the translation in English, he specified that I saw the Roman settlement that served for this position on the northern side of the land of the Count Kemeni. Uh, Count Kemeni was a very important rich person uh, who lived in Lukan uh, and he had a very big castle and a big agricultural land. And at the end of this, uh, this land, uh, Teglash described this settlement. Uh, on the field in the triangle made by the two big water springs of the river in Tukeria. The remains of the settlement spread on a circle of circa 0.5 kilometers in length. I saw a lot of Roman bricks and tiles and surrounding fragments. These are spread here and there on the field. Uh, this is the image of today's with uh, the castle today and an auto photograph, the position of the castle, the Kemeni Castle, and a hypothetic uh, rectangle which provides the image of the, the surface, and here in this point, the settlement indicated by the English. Uh, I forgot to show you, now I have to turn to the poster. A0 poster, I, I could not include it in my PowerPoint, but for the presentation. This is the image of the first topographic survey, first Austrian topographic survey, the second. In detail, I can, uh, I could locate perfectly the site indicated by Teglash, the third military survey with the same places, and details from uh, auto photographs. These are published and we can find it online. So, in this area, I uh, discovered on the field the, the Roman settlements, and, and these are two aerial photos, two oblique aerial photos uh, covering the area with a 
site indicated indicated by table. And now I will return to the to my PowerPoint. several uh, uh, new archaeological discoveries is the village of Mihai Vityazu. Uh, this is another image drawn from the archaeological uh, repository of Kush County. And the majority of the settlements are located and mapped on the northern bank of the river Ariesh. But in fact, we know today that this part was more, more important and also from other sources uh, one can actually uh, analyze the field and discover new settlements. I will show you immediately. An important information is offered uh, by the same Ishvan Teklaj. He named with his uh, toponym Shoikut, I hope I, I uh, said, uh, pronounce it good, Shoikut. A Roman settlement close to the current road which connects Turda, Turda with uh, Alba Iulia on the left side of this uh, road. And the archaeological repos repository only remembers that uh, in this point, but uh, we, we do not have any uh, topographic indication, uh, one can see uh, traces of Roman buildings and small objects. These are two drawings of, uh, from the journals of the, of the same uh, Ishvan Teklash. This is one view, so like a photo, he drew all, all the things. One view from the point, here is the Roman side, with the uh, Kile Torsi today, the, the um, famous uh, natural uh, monument here in Costa Turda. And this is what we call in Romanian Churga, so uh, water. Uh, system used in the 19th century, and this element was known in the terrain in the 50s, uh, uh, the 19th century. Here is an image of the current uh, state of the site. So this site, this settlement, is not uh, included in the uh, archaeological repository of Bush uh, County. Uh, and this is a section from the uh, so-called plan director, the tragedy, uh, the maps provided by uh, uh, Vasile and Professor Rian Rooks and the other team uh, who scanned these maps. This is the place, so south of Otay, south of Turda. Uh, actually, take large draw even the, 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 the hills in this area. It's the same section of uh, the area on the map 1 to 2000. Uh, 2000 uh, 25,000, and here another image of the site and some materials uh, I will show you today. So this is the sketch of Teglash. This is the image from the second military survey. So actually he saw a map and he drew it like this. And this is the third military survey with the same area. Some discoveries in the field, some prehistoric ceramic fragments and prehistoric tools and some Roman fragments. I'm not talking here about spectacular finds because these are small rural settlements of <coughs> Villa Rusica, but I'm talking about settlements which are known today but tomorrow they, they can be destroyed because of agricultural activities and so on. And I don't know, five, ten years we will not know even this little information about this site. And talking about Mihai Tiazo, and the Levy, so the list of the historical monuments. This is an up, a fragment of the updated list from 2010. And in Mihai Mityazu, here it's written Roman Fortress. Uh, uh, so it's, this is a very big mistake. Mistake is like for geography, I don't know, to say that uh, Nikos Napoca is not so much really the river, but it's the dam. So it's a huge mistake because we have Italy, in Hevitalia there is no Roman fortress, but in Potesa. So this is an official list which must be corrected and updated in the future. Another point I uh, discovered in the field is the so-called Leharo, which is descent 
popolul lui din Romania. This is the mention from the list of the historical monuments uh, on the territory of the ex uh, village Saint Mihail de Sous and the ruins of the Roman settlements, six Roman coins. And that's all. Here is the position uh, located in the archaeological uh, repository, but in fact, in the field, this point is here, as I will show you today. That area, first, is not a part of uh, uh, Mihai Vityazu, but is a part of a very small village called today, even today, Miskiu, from the Hungarian name, today is called Kea. So, my research focuses on that area, following the course of a river, in this point, the same thing on the second military survey, and the same on the third. Okay. And I will show in that area, using the maps and information regarding, I don't know, the strategy of uh, positioning uh, Roman settlements, normally close to a spring, for example, here in this case. This is the Roman set the new discovered Roman settlement, and this is the point called descent, Leha Poborele, uh, a view from south to north. This is the village of Mihaiviazo. The point was located there, so in that area. A view from west to east with the area here. Located. Another view with Kelly Tuzi here. And here is the, the terrain where I discovered the settlement. A fragment of ceramic, Roman ceramic, uh, tegule, uh, and other materials, uh, small fragment. Uh, and my last example uh, is related to the Roman fortress of Ilishua. Ilishua is in today's Mr. Tanaso County. Uh, the Roman fortress was positioned here, was positioned along the Roman road connecting uh, Dej today uh, with the fortresses uh, from the eastern frontier of Roman Dacia. Uh, this is an image of the, uh, a sector of the of the Fermitara survey with the villages. Uh, Uriu and Ilishua, and on effect on the maps from the second military survey, the place of the Roman camp, uh, which was known in the 19th century, is marked here with this small conventional sign south of the village, uh, south uh, of Ilishua, uh, and in the, uh, on the maps of the third military survey, in fact, the cartographers. Uh, as in other cases, they name this point Roman Shans, but they, they refer to what they saw on the field, so maybe the Argers or, or part of the Roman fortress. And we have another, here is a detail. And this is a sketch made by another Hungarian important uh, historian, Karl Torma, who drew this region and position exactly the fortress. Uh, in 1864, and using that sketch and uh, the other uh, maps, now one, I myself and I, I, I can locate perfectly the position of the Roman fortress without, I don't know, without uh, using other, let's say, uh, description of the historical process. So I will stop here. Thank you very much.